Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 48 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. Today we've got a few scenes to view, so let's start with Kisnir. So, Kisnir is wondering if we can, if Avaro has some more work that's suitable for her to do. Anyway, that's how it started. So what's this all of a sudden? You already handle all the knights on the castle, and furthermore have your own policing patrol. It's not enough. Uh, sure. So, since she's come and worked at the castle, she feels like she needs to get over a hump she's been in. To get over. She wants to develop her abilities in order to express how much she likes the castle and how important it is to her. Okay. So, I've always touched by how she, much she feels about the castle. And he's happy, she says. So, she's asking for his help in finding suitable work for her to do. Alright then. He's sure to find something. Now, wait a minute. Although he's saying he was moved by uh, her conviction here. He does want to say that she's already doing plenty. Not only in managing the knights and running her patrols, but also coming out in our battles. Well, coming out in battles is, first of all, the very least she can do as a knight. She could do so much more, and furthermore, there are so many non-knights also coming out for that. Yeah. So she feels a little... So she wants to show some purpose outside of battle. And to that purpose she wants to think about what she could do. Well, that's interesting. So, here in the castle we've been gathering more allies. And... Think about it. Here in the castle, everybody gathering about Fia. Everybody seems to have a use outside of battle. Hmm, she's right. Now that Devaro thinks about it, we got one who likes to cook, and another one who's got his own shop. And one who found a rock on the ground one day. And then there's Avaro, who makes shit all day. And she doesn't have anything but her sword. She can't really cook. Come on, we've seen you cook. You're not bad. By my standards, anyway. But she doesn't have anything else to her. Mm. If it's a possibility, she'd like to take up the challenge. Alright, so I've always done with it. He'll help. Great. She was thinking Avar would say that. Alright, starting off, let's ask Kisner what she's good at besides. She's got her can her sword techniques. And, for example, Avaros also does his half-elf thing and has his engineering skills. 
ちょっとした果物なら握りつぶせるはずだ。So she's thinking about it. She's really strong. She can take certain fruits and crush them in the palm of her hand. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Okay. Work that involves power, huh? Probably simple things like carrying around luggage wouldn't really float her boat, so. How about you help of our out in the workshop? Fia comes along from time to time, too. That's great. That is actually what, exactly what she wanted to hear. Really? That's right. Since Avaro's work is so important to the castle, she wanted to take part in that as well. And she feels like she'll really get a grip on the castle better. Well, that's great. So, returning to the workshop. This is a good time. He's got a simple task for this right now. Alright, she's down with it. Leave it to her. Great. First, you want to turn these screws in. I've always going to work on something else. I wonder how many screws he's talking about. But it's pretty simple, right? It's fine, just leaving it to her, right? This, huh? Well, if you're saying work, it's pretty simple. And there is a rather sharp noise that comes from her hands at this time. It bent. Oh, I see. That's how it works. Interesting. Uh, what, what, what? I'm turning these screws in. How do you go from attempting to turn a screw and bend metal like that? It's unheard of. Well, she didn't plan on putting that much power into it. This device is pretty flexible, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not a particularly strong metal, but it's still not soft. This isn't a fruit she's crushing. This is metal. This is crazy. <laughs> well, relax. She's just started helping out. She won't make the same mistake. Uh... I was hoping that's true. So, that's how it started. So, now she's rasping something. And she managed to rasp her way through an entire piece of metal again. Now she's carrying around luggage. She grips it so hard that she crushes it. Pounding nails! That sounds like fun. Oh, oops, she hit the wrong thing. And she breaks it so hard it can't be used. Hmm. And so on, I suppose. So, we got some results from her work. Uh, it might be a little unreasonable to ask you to help out in the workshop. She's sorry. She didn't know she was so clumsy like that. Well, it comes from trying to be something you aren't. Uh, 
少しずつ上手くなっていった覚えがある新しい物事で請求に結果を求めてはいけないのだろう Well, she can't do it like she swings a sword. But now that she thinks of it, when she was learning the sword, she learned little by little. So now that she's learning something new, she can't expect results right away. So while she's still learning the basics, she gets to take her time with little stuff. So, she's learned a bit here. So, thanks, Avaro, for your cooperation in this endeavor. And now she's learned that she really doesn't have anything besides her sword at the moment. And that's a good thing to learn. Hmm. Well, okay. So, she won't try and step off of her path of the sword, and she'll continue on her way. Well, I've always glad that Kithnir has learned something today. Now, he gets to go back to his workshop and fix all the stuff she broke. We... Megami rank up! Okay, more CP. Magic attack, magic defense. Sounds great. Now she is a goddess who thinks of... Love and kindness. SP regeneration. SP regeneration. That could be useful. Something that really ticks me off is she's at her maximum for physical attack already. I figured it would go up every time she ranks up, but maybe it's tied to the chapter progression? Who knows? Still. Now, this is a missive from the Tranquilo people, whom we completed three quest items for. God, I forgot how slowly she speaks. Okay. Thanks a bunch. Now that Masteria people have come to appreciate the products of the villages nearby instead of Gaidal. We never say a thing about Gaidal again, do we? Jeez. That's what I did it for. To kick him in the face. So, thanks for all your help, again. And normally, uh, the village leaders, the village leader, leader of the villages, whatever she's intending here, would come and thank you directly, but for a few days he's been stuck in bed. Well, that's bad. What happened? Well, when Masteria started dealing with the nearby villages again, he was so happy, he jumped up and sprained his back. Uh, I see. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll let you go with some painkillers as well. Well, thanks again for that as well. And if there's anything else we look forward to 
taking advantage of your services again. Anytime, we'll be waiting. So, bowing and thanking us for Prusili, she leaves. Hell will do for ya. So, earlier we promised Fia a date, and now that she's ranked up to Goddess Level 10, it's a perfect time, I guess. So, the two of them leave the castle one day. And this whole day we get to have free to ourselves. <laughs> quickly, quickly, hmm. Alright, alrighty. Don't pull so much. And what are you so impatient about? We got plenty of time. You're naive. Uh, sure. And anyway, we've left pretty early. Yep, the sun is rising high. Probably will be out until the sun goes down too. Time flies when you're having fun, she says. In other words, today's date, no matter how long we try to play, it'll seem short in the end. Hmm, really. So, if that's going to be the case and we'll perceive it shortly, how should we manage this date so that we can perceive it longly? Nah, no, really. So, Varo thinks about it. Alright. Let's make it so it doesn't feel fun at all. No, she doesn't like that answer. And anyway, why would you plan a date that would end up being boring and troublesome? How is that a reward for anything? Ah, sorry. Of course, he wasn't being totally serious. Anyway, what she was trying to say was getting up early and making the day so it feels long. Uh, that hasn't really changed. Yeah, it's true that if we got up after noon, the day would end pretty quickly. What are these things? There's a yellow thing and a pink thing and a blue thing. Uh, anyway, sorry, I got distracted. That's right, part it. If you want to make it longer, get up earlier. And that way the day will be last longer. Mm, okay. So that's why we got up and got moving so quickly. Hmm. So that's one way of making it longer. Honestly, she wanted to leave before it even got light out. Yeah, uh, if we did that, no matter where we went, they wouldn't be up and we couldn't go to any shops or anything. Yeah, that's true. That's why she kept herself back and sat there at her futon thinking about how she would do the date. <laughs> okay, fine. What kind of things you'll eat and where you'll go and stuff, and the conversations. <laughs> Stuff like that, yeah. 
Although in the end, it's if she's just taking it easy with Avaro, it's fun for her. Really? <laughs> Isn't she cute? Actually, she was so excited about today, she was couldn't actually sleep that much. Hey, don't push yourself too hard. What happens if you catch a cold? Apparently catching a cold is the answer to everything you do wrong with your body. She's feeling fine. In fact, her eyes feel quite clear today. All right, so here we go. All right, let's have some fun. So the two of them head to a nearby village. This is one that we drawn close to recently. So since the two of them became lovers, this is the first time they've headed out together. Well, just the two of them. So we better have some fun. So that's one thing we can do. Hey, that person doesn't want to have sex with us anymore. So there are people who have come on to the castle, but there are also the occasional people that want to leave. So this guy is a representative of some family that's getting off the castle. They're thankful for being here. It was awesome and stuff. So these are, this is another family that got on at Rick Bell. So, you're not going to ask why we're leaving? Can I ask? So, he's just going to explain whether we ask or not, I guess. He says that it's not that we've come to hate either the castle or the people running it. Well, this place is interesting. The town moves and it's exciting. And it's also nice to live in. And the merchants always have this convenient stuff for us to buy. Okay, great. But, you know, they heard the rumor. Where this castle is headed. They thought it was a joke at first. Yeah, Avaro understands. Their destination is, uh, pretty unusual. As expected, no matter what reason we give, entry is forbidden into that holy ground. And if they're going to leave, it should probably be now when they're close to this village. Well, they're hoping that he doesn't worry too much about them. And perhaps he shouldn't have even told him about this. Well, thanks anything for coming and telling. We're going to be a little lonely without you. If you could... <laughs> He would like for you guys to give up on entering the holy ground. But and 
Please, don't cause trouble to Fuchsia. Well, of course we don't have any intention of opposing the god. But... So basically, we're not going to try to trouble the god directly, but we're still not giving up on our objective. And he's at least glad that we're not going to directly oppose the god. But the fuchsia faith and the people that comprise it aren't going to go quietly. That time when they battled the knights near Rikvel was kind of the same reason, right? Yeah, it was kind of the same, but it was kind of not. Prince Gilch had his own agenda. Well, we didn't want to draw you into our plots anyway. Well, they understand what's going on and they aren't going to try and stop us, but they're still not good for staying in. So, take care. Yeah, take care on your journey as well. So, some families will leave Gralakuna as well. Yeah, this is kind of harsh on Navarro, more than he thought. So, sometimes we make connections and sometimes they get cut. And yes, it's certainly not something that we want to drag people into danger for. It's a heavy responsibility. Uh, but if you had learned about this, she'd be pretty sad. Hmm? I wonder who that is. Oh, Avaro thought he f felt someone's presence. But he was imagining things. Nobody's there. Oh well, let's go back to work. Hey. Yeah, that's something that's going to be on... Heavy on Fia's conscious. Hmm. Apparently we've already left for a date, but we can also go whatever hunting. So we can also have this date. <laughs> Actually, before I get into this, I think I'll cut it short. Because this is going to get rather long. I'd like to thank you for watching YouTube and I will see you next time.